Section 2 Economics Chapter 1 Introduction of an Economy We will study the following points in this chapter. 1.1 Introduction 1.2 Meaning and Definition of an Economy 1.3 Types of Economy 1.4 Features of an Economy One point one Introduction We must have observed many activities happening around us, such as farming, manufacturing, mining, transport, communication, etc. They are called productive activities. Definition an economy refers to the various activities related to production, distribution and consumption of goods and services in a certain geographical region. An economy is defined as a relationship between production, trade and the supply of money in a particular country or region. Thus, an economy deals with production, distribution, consumption and allocation of available resources in a particular area. One point two meaning of an economy. An economy is a combination of productive activities and services. People buy various goods and services from the market to satisfy their wants. An economy is a system which provides the means to work and earn a living. It is an organization which makes use of the available resource to produce goods and services. In the past, village economy was an important economic, political and administrative unit. Agriculture and handicrafts were the main activities of the people in villages. The state Maharashtra as well as the national India and the global world economy which exists today show an extension of the village economy. One point three types of economy. There are three types of economy. One capitalist economy, two socialist economy, three mixed economy. One capitalist economy. In a capitalist economy, the means of production are owned and managed by private individuals. The main motive of producers is to maximize profit in a capitalist economy. For example, USA. 2. Socialist economy. In a socialist economy, society as a whole collectively owns the factors of production. So the means of production are owned and managed by the government. Its main aim is to maximize social welfare, for example, China. 3. Mixed Economy It is a coexistence of both public and private sector. In this case, the means of production are owned and managed by the government as well as private individuals, for example, India. One point four features of economy. The main features or characteristics of an economy are given below. One specific geographical area. Two natural resources. Three population. Four 
पॉलिटिकल सोवेरिनिटी फाइव सेक्टरल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वन स्पेसिफिक ज्योग्राफिकल एरिया एवरी इकोनॉमी हैज अ वेल डिफाइंड ज्योग्राफिकल एरिया विच डिटरमाइंस द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ अ नेशन द इंडियन इकोनॉमी ओन्स अबाउ थर्टी टू लैक एटी सेवन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थ्री स्क्वायर किलोमीटर्स ऑफ लैंड विथ ट्वेंटी एट स्टेट्स एंड सेवन यूनियन टेरिटरीज इट्स ऑक्यूपाइज टू पॉइंट फोर परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल लैंड एरिया ऑफ द अर्थ टू नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज रिफर टू रिसोर्सेज विच आर फ्रीली अवेलेबल इन नेचर इट इंक्लूड्स लैंड माउंटेन्स वॉटर सनशाइन सी फॉरेस्ट मिनरल डिपॉजिट्स एक्सेट्रा लेवल ऑफ प्रोडक्शन इन द इकोनॉमी इज इंफ्लुएंस्ड बाय द अवेलेबिलिटी एंड यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज थ्री पॉपुलेशन सप्लाई ऑफ लेबर इन अ कंट्री डिपेंड्स अपॉन द साइज ऑफ पॉपुलेशन एडुकेशन ट्रेनिंग एंड हेल्थ सर्विसेस इंप्रूव द क्वालिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज एग्जाम्पल पॉपुलेशन यूज इन प्रोडक्टिव एक्टिविटीज देर आर थ्री कंसेप्ट रिगार्डिंग द साइज of population of a country optimum population it indicates an ideal size of population in this case the available resources are properly utilized b overpopulation the excess population above the optimum level is known as overpopulation it increases pressure on the available resources under population it is a situation in which the existing population is not enough to use the available resources fully four political sovereignty the term sovereignty means supreme power or authority political supremacy is directly related to the economy the government of the country must have the supreme power to make rules and to enforce laws an independent and political sovereign nation can take decisions about the socio economic welfare of the country five sectoral distribution on the basis of ownership and management sectors are classified as private sector public sector and joint sector on the basis of the nature of activities various productive activities are mainly classified into three sectors a primary sector it is also called as agricultural sector occupations mainly based on natural resources are included in the primary sector for example agriculture activities like animal husbandry poultry farming fisheries forestry mining etc in the developing economy like india more than half of the population is engaged in the primary sector b secondary sector it is also called as the industrial sector it includes occupations related to manufacturing construction work electricity natural gas water supply etc 
3 tertiary sector it is also known as the service sector it includes services like transport communication banking insurance trade finance health education hotels entertainment etc sectorial distribution of gdp in india 2011 sectorial distribution of gdp is an index which measures the economic development of a country in india the contribution of secondary and tertiary sector in gdp is rising it indicates an increase in india's economic development 